But I just get ping, 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 ping. <laughs> Welcome back to a special episode of Gary's Kitchen. Today, our special guest is Skawa. Hey, that's me. I believe we're going to be making a mystery Japanese dish. I don't quite know yet. And if you want to figure out what the dish actually is, stick around, watch the whole video, and then we're going to cook together, chill together, and it's going to be a really great time. Tell your chat that I purposely chose the longest recipe I could find. So you're forced to stream as long as possible. <laughs> I told them that Skara has like a very long one for, for for everybody. Yeah, I see that. What's our first step, Master Chef? What time is it there? Uh, no, it is. What time is it, Chat? <laughs> I don't have a clock with me. Um, it's twelve twenty p.m. Perfect. Can you take out the uh, sake now? Open it, okay? Oh, open it. And then get the the chicken carcasses. You need to get rid of any of the bloodline, silver skin, and impurities in the bone by boiling it for four to five minutes. With the wait, with the sake? Oh no, no, the sake is for you. Take that and just oh. drink it. We're starting early. It's twelve. One thing you should know about me, Skara, I have terrible, terrible alcohol tolerance. I'm gonna get turned hot. We have four more hours. I regret everything. The, the more I move, the more the alcohol is going to my face and I am hot right now. Okay, I'm ready to cut some meat. Where's the bone? I gotta feel out the boner and cut around it. Uh, okay, the meat is cut. Um, did you want me to cut it a bit smaller? Probably, a, you're gonna need to be a bit smaller. Oh, we're eating this. Okay, okay my super big chunks of pork not overcompensating so now it's two, two and a half hours now yeah is there anything we can do in the meantime while the noodles or while the soup is working we can do the noodles you want to measure out five grams of salt and consui and then 120 milliliters of water 120 okay i i don't feel so good <laughs> Okay, 12. I put a little bit too much in by accident because my hands are shaky, but that's fine. 120. Uh, okay, and now it's time for me to have another celebratory drink. Come by! Come by. I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. Are you having fun, Skara? Are you scared? I am. Yes. Is my fire on? Hello? <laughs> my fire was off this whole time? What? <laughs> We're going to be here a while. How much flour do we need? 300 grams of flour. 300 grams of flour. How many is 300 of huh? mine? Huh? I'm gonna get my hands in there. Get my dough in. Um, oh, I'm assuming I need it into a ball, right? I kind of just dove head in first with that one. I didn't wait for your instruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knead the dough together, yes. Uh, it's really dry though, hold on. Drier than my pussy. What? And so we're talking about the driest place on the globe. Kind of show you a picture of what it looks like in here. This is it right here. It is so dry, the cactus won't even grow here. Don't get me wrong. I would love to funnel this for two hours, but do I need to let it settle and set it on the side to let it rest a little bit or no? It literally says four words, knead the dough together and put it through a pasta make. How about this? Since we do have two hours, I still have to skim the soup. We'll let this sit for maybe 45 minutes or so, and then we'll put it through a pasta maker and see how that goes. What would you like to work on? Um, wait, you're at the brain. I don't know. Oh, fuck, she remembered. I'm not that drunk, bitch. <laughs> you combine the chicken, one whole egg, four tablespoons of cornstarch, and half a yuzu and a couple pinches of salt. I need an egg? Oh. So I'm just gonna zest. I'm gonna grab my lemon, cause I don't have yuzu. We're gonna juice yuzu as well, hell yeah. I was always curious what color her juice was. Hmm? Ah! Ah! I'm gonna get my hands in there and mash this meat together wait what comes after the, the chicken oh the chicken comes after the egg it crossed the street to lay the egg and then the cycle begins again mm. everyone knows this even artemisis whatever the fuck his name is aristocrates you know i'm something of a philosopher myself oh we need the marinade for the pork combine a half cup of water 
a half cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of sake, a quarter cup of mirin, a few cloves of crushed garlic, and a few slices of ginger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need a stove, I need a stove, I need a sauce pot, and I need to simmer that, okay. I will, I will be back. I can't wait for her to come back and for me to tell her the next part of the recipe, which requires another pot to simmer for 45 minutes. How much water do we need? It says you're going to need a half cup, half a cup of sake, a quarter cup of sake, half a cup of mirin, a quarter cup of mirin. Okay, I'm starting to see double now. This is the problem. That's great, because we added double the amount. So while we're while we're while I'm like just catching my breath, so uh, let me take a few guesses, okay? What this might be? Okay. It's some kind of noodle dish. I'm thinking it's like chicken ball noodle soup type of thing. So in Japan, one of my top meals was menya shio ramen. We're making a very specific sukumen menya it ito style sukumen from that oh, similar to the chain. Oh, I love sukumen. Well, simmer on low for 30 minutes. We can probably simmer for like a little shorter than that, I'm pretty sure. I think you're supposed to throw it together in a Ziploc bag with the pork when it's done in 40 minutes. Oh gosh. Oh wait, wait, the balls. I didn't do the balls yet. I gotta do the balls. Oh, right, right, the balls. Okay, the balls. I forgot the balls. Why have a ballroom with no balls? The people who made my lore video were just like, like how, how what size are you relative to a house? And I'm like, <laughs> <"Y> <laughs> yeah. Okay, no one saw that. No one saw that, right? Just grabbing handfuls of meat is what I'm doing and squeezing the meat through my finger hole and making a ball. You need to be bite-sized. Well, how small is your mouth, Skara? Your mouth looks huge. I'm sure you can fit one of these balls in there, okay? That's quite big. Impressive. I'm totally using my raw chopsticks for this, but that's fine, right? That should be fine. The soup requires you to add two sections. One section mm -hmm. is the carrots, garlic, ginger, leek for on medium high for an hour. The second half is water, sardines, and bonita shavings for 45 minutes. Wait, I need sardines? Was it not on the ingredient list? I don't know you gave it to me in the ingredient list. Why are the ingredients not on the ingredient list? You are in luck. I have dry sardines and I have katsuboshi. Let's go. Of course you do, because you're a real chef. You're a real one. It just kind of like it assumes you have them if you're like a serious Japanese, like. Japanophile. That's a humongous leak and a humongous carry. Skara, this is big? Skara, I'm sure you've seen bigger carrots. I went to some onsen. That is uh -huh. the largest carrot I've seen. <sighs> Fits right in. We need to work on the tare ASAP. Cup of soy sauce. A cup of soy sauce. Oh, a cup of soy sauce. Wow, that's a lot of soy sauce. Okay. How much mirin do I need? Half a cup. Half a cup. Okay. So for sake, how much sake? It says half a cup. I ran out of Japanese sake, so I'm gonna use Chinese cooking wine. It tends to be a bit more seasoned and a little stronger. So I think for now, I'll just do half of that. So a quarter cup. And then there's a quarter cup of water. Yes, my sake ran out. Okay, I didn't drink it all. My sake just ran out. Not the, not the party sake that I was chugging on. Oh, wait, can we add the the water, the sardines, and the bonito shaving? How much? Like a handful of each? A healthy handful. I don't fucking know what that means. Okay, we're gonna gorilla grip it then. We're gonna do one gorilla okay. grip, two gorilla grips. Wait, one handful of sardines, right? It's a healthy handful. Do we need garlic in the tare? I forgot. Wait, we're, we're doing the broth, right? The, the tare, the tare. We're doing the broth. Okay, okay, you just threw in the tare. Okay, that's okay. Just a couple cloves of garlic and a few slices of ginger. If anything, this is gonna be a very concentrated tare and a very concentrated like seasoning. So we're only helping it along. Hopium from the makers of Copium. There's no impediment here. We're only amplifying the flavor. Yeah, just a brain impediment. Okay. 
The tare is smelling really strong. It's getting really, really thick. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but I'm actually gonna put a little bit of cornstarch on my cutting board to prevent stickiness. Just a little bit. Oh, that's a little, that's too much. I'm gonna make it into a ball, mm -hmm. flatten it. And then because the, the dough has been sitting for quite a while already, it has become more pliable, so it's relaxed a bit. So it shouldn't be too, too, too hard to roll it out. So I rolled it long, as thin as I could get it. And then I'm just going to, uh, what is it called? Like kind of fold it like this. I'm just gonna cut it into noodle thickness. If it looks a little thin, you can always cut it a little thicker, but it also shouldn't be too much of an issue because it will expand a bit in the water. The last steps are to cut the pork, the green onions, Mm -hmm. and to cook the noodles al dente. This is just a small little dice. It's up, it's up to you. It's a like personal preference. Okay, water is boiling. I'm going to time this a little bit. This is where I'm resolved of all responsibility. Are you sure though? Because you could have mm -hmm. fucked up the noodles itself and there's no way that I can cook it al dente. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> Not my job. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this out really quick under cold water. I'm straining. Hopefully nothing falls in, flat into my face. I'm gonna place the pork nicely. They're already so small, so I feel like I probably don't need to slice them anymore. It was because we're shortening the recipe, so you anticipated that we're gonna be cutting some time off. So obviously the smaller the pork, the more surface area we have. So the marinade can penetrate even further with the smaller yes. pieces. You know That's what I what mean? That's what I was thinking about, the yeah. penetration <laughs> effect. Run that by me again. The meatballs that's been sitting outside for, for a little while, but you know, I, it should still be good. Well, this is, look at, look at this. I don't, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it is thick. It is thick and luscious. I think ideally the soup should be like scalding. Like it should yes. be like in a stone pot, you know? Okay, it's starting to look kind of good. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, all right, Oni bro, how, how but, but, is but, it But don't say to, anything. Uh, don't say anything until you're, you gotta eat it. I gotta eat it? Oh, uh, okay. No one's actually told me to eat it before. No, everyone usually just cares about Oni bro's rating. <laughs> I'm dipping, I'm dipping. I put a little bit in there. Mm. Oh, my hair. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Mmm. Mmm, really good. The that alkaline so taste. Good. I'm gonna try the meatball a little bit. Let it let it soak through a little. Mmm. The meatball is nice too. It's so tender. Wait, your your videos doesn't don't you don't have your reaction to the to the food? I want this in the video. <laughs> Editor, put this in the video. Yes, sir. Wait, did he give a rating? Oni bro said eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <gasps> the That's texture of the noodles really good. Yay! I'm so excited. There we go, everybody. We finished our final plate of tsukemen. We have homemade noodles, uh, chicken meatballs. We have some chashu, and obviously our most important part, which is the soup. And I think it turned out really, really good. Um, and thank you, Skara, for joining me today. My pleasure. I will have Skara's links um, all in the description down below. And if you ever try it for yourself, please leave a comment and let me know how it turned out for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, what about the, the like, subscribe? Oh, I- Hit uh, the bell? What the <laughs> fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs>